Watch this. I'm gonna create a dynamic sales report, sorted, filtered, and trimmed, all with one formula. No manual updates, no sorting, no filtering, just utilizing the filter, sort, and take functions, and the orders will automatically appear. Here's how you build it. So the other week, I created an Excel video about the Microsoft Excel take function. In that video, I got loads of questions and comments about taking the take function even a step further, trying to make it more dynamic and do more work for you. So that's what we're gonna discuss here. We're gonna combine the take function with the sort and filter functions to make it even more dynamic and more robust getting your data from your list. So open in front of you, I've got a file called Excel take function hyphen zero two. I've made this file available for you to download You'll find a link to it in the description, just right down below this video. Look for the officenoob.com blog link, and you'll find a link to download the file from there. So download it, open it up, follow along with me. And while you're down there, if you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like the video. I appreciate that. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week. So. Let's jump in and take a look at making the take function even more dynamic. All right, inside of this workbook, I've got a worksheet called orders. Then I've got a simple little list here. It's got an order ID, order date, a region, a rep, the product, and the amount. Now, what I'd like to do here is I wanna pull specific records. And what I'd really like to get is the latest five sales that have happened throughout this list. So we've got the order date column in here. But if we look closely at the order date column, it's not sorted. It's not an ascending or descending sort. It's kind of all over the place because the list, the original list, is sorted by the rep. Now, I don't want to disturb that sort order, but I need it sorted by the order date in order to get the latest records from this list. So I'm going to hop over to H4. I got my headers there waiting for this data to be populated and I'm gonna bring in the take function. There we go. Now, the first thing the take function takes is the array. It needs to know what data I wanna pull from. Well, in this case, I wanna pull from this data right here, but I need to sort it by the order date. Inside of the array section, I'm now gonna bring in or nest in the sort function. I'll open up a parentheses, the first thing the sort function needs is the array. So I'm gonna grab from A2 down to F100. I'll get all that data there, comma. The next thing it wants to know is the sort index. It needs to know which column it's gonna sort off of. Here it's gonna be column number one, two. Column number two, order date. So I'll put a two in there, comma. The next thing it wants to know is how, what order it's gonna sort in, and whether it's ascending or descending. I'm gonna do an ascending sort. So I'll get the oldest record first and then the newest ones at the bottom, ascending sort. I'll close that sort. I'm done with the sort command. I've told it the array and I've sorted it properly. I'm gonna comma, I'm back inside the take and now I need to tell it how many rows do I want. Let's say I want the, the, the newest, the most up-to-date records. I want the, the, the five most up-to-date records. So I'm gonna put a negative five in there, meaning I want the five records from the bottom of the list. And that's it for right now. That's all I'm gonna do. I'll close the parentheses, boop, 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 checking it out. I think I got it all right, I'll hit my enter key. And there we go. That one's bold, I'll unbold that one. So here I've got the latest, the most up-to-date five records, right? sorted in the proper way. Three, five, three, six, three, six, three, seven, three, seven for all the different regions, for all the different sales reps. Right there, utilizing the take and nesting the sort function within the array of the take function. So make sure you try this one out. Really simple, just two little functions in there, but so much more dynamic. Nail that one down. All right, let's take this even a step further. So we've got our data there, an unsorted original list, Within the take function, we sorted it to get it in the proper order so that we can get to the proper set of records. So now, I don't want all 
of the records. Maybe I want a specific region's records. So now we're going to introduce the filter function into the take and sort. So I'm going to go back to cell H4. This is back to where my formula was at. I'll give that a double click. There we go. Take, sort. We got our array inside there. But now I want to filter the results. So I'm going to jump into the sort command just after the open parentheses there where I've got my A2 to F100. And I'm going to bring in the filter function. Filter, open parentheses. And if we look closely, we got the filter function. The first thing it wants to know is the array. Same thing the take wants, same thing the sort wants. So now I've got the array. I'm going to go to the end of the F100 and do a comma. So now it wants to know what we want to include. Well, I only want to include records for a specific region. So now I'll grab the region column, C2 to C100. And I want to know if that is equal to... And I'll pick one of them. Let's say South. Now it's going to go inside quotes. It's a string or a text value. And I think that's it for filter. So I'll close the parentheses there. There we go. I'm going to hit my enter key. And I've got just the South records. I'm taking just the bottom five, the most recent records. I've got it sorted by the order date, got sort function, and now the filter function to give me back just the South records. Three little functions doing all the work for us. Try this out. All right, I'm excited. Let's take this even a step further. We're going to make this even more dynamic. We got the three functions doing really the heavy lifting here. Take bottom records, most recent records, sorting to get the records in the proper order, and then filtering to get the specific region. Well, what if you want to make the region or the number of records more dynamic? I want users to be able to interact with the worksheet and have the formula update based on the user's input. Well, I've got these two cells here. I've got region and I've got count. So as users put values in those cells, the formula should update. Take a look. So I'm going to go back to H4, back to the original formula we created. Give that a double click. And I'm going to change two little things here. The first one We've got our filter command here, attacking A2 to F100, but we're saying where C2 to C100 is equal to south. Now, south is currently hard-coded. That's a literal value in there. I want to change that from equal to south to equal to I2, or I1, excuse me, I1. So now C2 through C100 is equal to I1, so whatever they type in there. And then the same with this negative five, I want to say if it's negative M1 or the value found inside of M1. And remember negative because we're pulling from the bottom of the list. That's it. I'm going to hit my enter key. All right. Now we don't have any values in there. So I'm going to hop up to the region. I'll pick a region. Here's south. And I'm going to tell it I want the five. There's my south. Jump back up here. We'll say west. There's the bottom, the, the most recent West records. There's the East. And let's say I only want the, the, the most recent three records. I'll hit my enter key. How's that? Three little functions, pulling all the data you want, but now making it even more dynamic and asking the users for input, which then updates your calculations. Try it out. Three little functions, take sort and filter to create dynamic content inside your Excel documents. And then introducing a couple little input boxes for our users to make it even more dynamic. So hopefully you're trying this out. You've downloaded the file just right down below. And if you've learned something new, make sure you hit that thumbs up. I appreciate that. Like the video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get updates about new videos that we add each week on Microsoft Excel and other Office applications. I'll see you in the next video.